Hi, this is Vee from Red House Kitchen. Today we are making soup dumplings, known as xiao long bao in Chinese. This delicacy is famous for its tender skin and the scrumptious soupy filling. First of all, let's make some aspic that goes into the filling. The high temperature during steaming will turn this jelly-like aspic into soup. I'm roasting a whole chicken to make the jelly. You don't need to season the chicken; just add some scallions and ginger. You can use a Dutch oven like this one, or a baking tray and cover it tightly with tin foil. The key point is to keep all the moisture inside during roasting. Preheat the oven at 200 degrees Celsius or 390 degrees Fahrenheit. Cook for about one hour. Let it cool, then take out the chicken. All the moisture inside the chicken has turned into a delicious broth. Keep it in the fridge for at least four hours. It will gelatinize and become a solid block of aspic. Before we mix it with the filling, let's make the dough for the wrappers. Firstly, add hot water to the flour. Then some tap water at room temperature. All-purpose flour works fine for this recipe. You can also use special dumpling flour, which is whiter and has a finer texture. Now we've made a rough-looking dough. Leave it to rest for ten minutes. Then knead it until very smooth. Rest again for thirty to sixty minutes. The dough will soften and become more manageable. While waiting, let's mix the filling. Mince the pork, chop the scallions. Mince the ginger, light soy sauce, Shaoxing rice wine, a little sugar, salt, and white pepper. Give it a good stir. Now the chicken aspic. On the top, you can see a layer of chicken fat. Remove it with a spoon. You can chop the jelly block with a knife, or just break it into tiny pieces with a fork. Add it to the pork, then mix well. Before you assemble the soup dumplings, put the filling into the fridge to keep it firm. The next step: roll the wrappers. This part can be quite challenging because you would need to roll them very thin. This piece of dough makes about twenty wrappers. Cut it into small pieces. Then press each one into a disc. When you start rolling, don't forget to cover the rest of the dough pieces; otherwise, they will dry out. Hold the dough with one hand and move the rolling pin with the other hand. Roll forward to the center and come back. Then turn the wrapper a little. Roll and turn, roll and turn. Keep going like this. Towards the end, roll the edge a little bit more. Since the wrappers are very thin and delicate. Always remember to dust with a little flour to avoid sticking. The finished wrapper should be about 12 cm in diameter. These wrappers dry out easily, so you need to assemble the dumpling one by one as you roll out each wrapper. Now it's wrapping time. Use the thumb and index finger of your dominant hand to pleat. Use the other hand to hold the wrapper, and help push the edge towards the dominant hand. Take your time and plate it slowly. 
It takes a little while to get the hang of it. If you mess up with the first few, don't give up. Keep practicing. You can leave an opening in the middle, like this one, or you can seal it completely, like this one. The final step: steaming. Remember to line the basket with a piece of parchment paper, or brush some oil if you're using a metal steamer. When the water starts boiling, put the basket in. Cook for eight minutes over medium-low heat. If you are cooking more than ten dumplings at a time, increase the time to ten minutes. Here you are, homemade soup dumplings. Hope you enjoyed my video. You can find the written recipe on my blog. The link is on the bottom right corner of the screen. Until the next video, have a lovely time in your kitchen.